This one sounds a lot worse than what it actually is, but trust me, it's good. To say that the raid on that elder settlement was successful would be an understatement. It was a massacre. With the majority of the military forces occupied fighting some militarum regiment halfway across the continent. All that the sisters of battle has to fight were some random guardians and support platforms. They were dealt with quickly using fire and faith in excessive measure as always and soon turned their sights to sacking the civilians. The streets ran with their unclean blood as none were spared. Well, almost none were spared. Sister Olivia had, while nobody was looking, kidnapped a young elder boy and shoved him into a sack and ran before anyone noticed. A rational mind would have come with several conclusions, each with a sinister purpose behind them. Perhaps she was going to give the boys a specimen for an inquisitor, maybe he was going to be used as a hostage. Elder did value every soul they had. It was also possible that this child held some critical information in his young mind that was critical for a future campaign. But this is the 41st millennium, and common sense died tens of thousands of years ago. No, the real purpose of this kidnapping was far more predatory in nature. They were in an abandoned little shack by the outskirts when the sister empties her loot out on the floor. The boy tumbles on the floor, gasping for breath. As soon as his senses return, his eyes widen when he notices his captor and he immediately scrambles for the nearest wall. Why do you run the sister asks in a pained voice. Don't you wish to embrace the emperor with me the boy begins breathing hard, reaching out for anything to throw. He screams out in his Zeno's tongue to stay back, but the sister does not oblige. Don't be afraid, child. I have taken you so I can cleanse you she licks her lips. Your body is so young, so, tainted. I only wish to absolve you of the stain, to teach you the joys of serving the emperor. Olivia reaches her hand out, but the boy pushes it away with all his might. She chuckles, to the boy's confusion. Perhaps I did not make your predicament clear enough she reaches to her side and pulls out a bolt pistol to the elder's head. He breaks into a cold sweat staring down the barrel. You cannot leave here. You are now my property. Despite his defiant looks, the boy knows there's no chance to stand up to her. He quails under the thread and begins crying. The sister tenderly places an armored finger on his lips, shushing him as she lowers herself to his level. You need not be afraid of me. I am a servant of the emperor, and by cooperating with me, we will both be purified. As she had the boy cornered, Olivia could only celebrate in her thoughts, reveling in the opportunity to partake in the carnal pleasures with Azino. Was it heretical? Most certainly, but when she was forced to bottle up her sexual NT, having the opportunity to vent all these frustrations on a young, defenseless Xena was considered to her a perfect excuse. Perhaps some of those instincts showed through her eyes, as the boy tries to scurry away some more, but the threat of a bolt through his head was more than sufficient incentive to stay put. Thus silenced, the sister finally grabs him by his collar. With a sharp tug, he is brought right up to her armored chest. The boy struggles to adjust, but he is again interrupted as she lifts him and forces her tongue down his mouth, exploring the delicate features of the elder. All the while, the child is helpless, a prisoner to both a murderous barbarian, but a pedophile. Their lips part, the boy gasps for breath while the sister chuckles. Oh, you will be perfect she claws at her victim and rips off his clothing with power armored ease. She pauses to admire the frail, almost feminine figure he has before looking to her own clothing. Power armor was going to make the entire affair more difficult, so she starts with removing that. Conveniently, Sororitas pattern power armor is light enough that she could start dismantling it herself, though it would take her while longer. Lucky for her than that her hostage was too terrified to try running again. The robes beneath Olivia's armor were in hues of white, making her ironically look more like an angel once her armor was removed. The alien boy notices this too, as he stops trying to run and begins drawing closer. That's right, she gently coos, come to me. Together, we will find salvation. The boy falls into her arms, where she strokes his head while burying his head in her bosom. Yes, like that. I won't hurt you if you just do as I tell you. She stands up, loosening the boy's grip. Her gentle mask was starting to crack, she was this close to the flesh she craved. Alright now, we need to start the ritual. First first. How about Ya has a seat the sister's heart stops. Nobody was supposed to know she was here. Her eyes frantically dart around to find the source of the voice, keeping her hostage in front of her at all times. Nothing looked out of the ordinary. I asked if you would like to has a seat. Olivia's eyes spot an inconspicuous wooden chair. Slowly, she approaches it and then sits down on it. Nothing happens. 
she sighs. This, this is a misunderstanding. See, I was only going to interrogate the Xeno fiend her eyes keep shifting, surveying the small shack for anything that looks out of place. I was going to teach him the glory of mankind, the power of the emperor, so that we might possibly cleanse his soul of taint still nothing moves. I, I am a member of the Adeptus Auratus. I have the support of the Echelshiarchy behind me. I am protected by the Emperor, so your influence will not corrupt me she starts laughing nervously. B but you knew that, right? I mean, I'm no heretic. The silence only serves to add to the tension. Why you can come out now she keeps her tone. If we're both servants of the Emperor, then surely you understand what I'm doing? Right again, there was nothing. Come out now. Please come out her confidence was draining fast. Now. Please. After what felt like a minute, there was finally a noise. A heavy tread emerges from the doorway. The fact that something was actually coming out was so frightening to her that she never notices the boy she took so much trouble kidnapping flee, and from in that same doorway, a giant orc in a business suit enter. My name is Chris Orkson. The orc announces with no subtlety, and I would like ya to answer some questions. Olivia notices the boy gone at last. Any wail of frustration is halted when she also notices how far she is from her equipment. The poor Sororitus notices at that moment that she was going to die. Not by the hand of an enemy in glorious battle, but by the chop of a galactic hunter of sexual predators. Perhaps this was the Emperor's justice, as retribution for her impure motives. Even if it was not, there would be no escape for her. Fuck me, that was a bit rough now. Like, you know, seriously, it was one of the first time I was leading that. I was about halfway through it. I was near positive this was not going to be made into a video. Like, you know, YouTube has its limits. But Jesus fuck, that Orc Hansen got me. That shit was hilarious. I loved it. It was it was so good. Be honest with me, I, lo I love the, the picture of an Orc Hansen. I think that shit's fucking brilliant. I really enjoy it. But, uh, no, you know, that's something that, really, like, you know, 40k hasn't really touched on at all, really, like, you know, within reason. Like, you know, even with Slanesh, I don't really think pedophilia has been, like, a, a thing that's really been touched on much. Like, you know, especially when you look at the Ecclesiarchy, which really is just the Catholic Church in space. Like, you know, there's bound to be some Slanesh-y pedo cults knocking about. But as far as I'm aware, it hasn't, like, you know, been a thing. But, hey, this was actually submitted by Scott's Watts. I have no idea of how the fuck you actually say the name. So, look, that's the clue I'm going to give you. He's on the Discord. He makes youtube videos so like you know maybe look out for some of his stuff in the future you know what i mean um if you yourself come across anything that you think's worthwhile definitely put it into the submissions i fucking love reading through them i think they're great um there's always something in there you know what i mean the submissions tab i think is great there's always as i say there's always something worth reading you know what i mean but uh, hey, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I hope you actually made it through to this part, be honest with you, just because it's like, holy good fuck. You know what I mean? It was definitely rough. It was a rough guide, that. But hey, as always, hope you guys have enjoyed. And like and subscribe to stay up to speed with any and all further videos. And check out all the links down below. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?